Do you like the idea of being a maverick space acrobat who wears sunglasses and sleeps with all the ladies? You gotta step into the cockpit first and master your joystick if you do. Simple in theory and difficult in practice, welcome to the pilot tutorial, where we'll be learning the ship's sweet spot in combat, when and how to position the ship for repair, warp and scrap collection, the importance of staying close to defend the captain during away missions, and about the thrust systems tab. In the tab menu, under talents you will find a list. Any talents that are bone white you're going to want to prioritize. These are your unique pilot talents. Keep in mind that you're expected to hold your own in combat and defend the captain but piloting upgrades should come first, especially the custom implant talent. Ultimately, how you spend your talents is up to you. If you're finding that you don't have anything good to buy, there's no harm in saving some points and asking your scientist to research a talent for you if they can. First of all, make sure your flight controls are set. However you feel comfortable flying is up to you as long as you can maneuver correctly. But I recommend flying on manual and having the screen to the left of where you pilot set to binary. Next, pick your camera preference and now you're ready to fly. Use the A and D keys to turn left and right. W and S to tilt downwards and upwards. The Q and E keys will rotate the ship. Left mouse turns up the thrust. Left control turns down the thrust. Holding the right mouse button changes the A and D keys to strafe left and right respectively. W and S will make you go forwards and backwards and Q and E will move you directly upwards or downwards. If your forward thrust is maxed out, you can press the left shift key to activate a boost represented by the blue bar on your piloting HUD. Mastering these controls is the most important part of the job, but you can also pay attention to the thrust and reactor heat percentage under the boost meter. This will let you know how much power engineering is currently supplying to your thrusters, and if the reactor is close to causing an emergency shutoff and it's unsafe to boost. On to the sweet spot, which is the top 40% of your ship, not including directly above you. Be mindful of which direction your turret is able to face. This is the direction that you want to keep the current active target position so that the weapon specialist always has a clear shot. The ship's sweet spot. If your turret doesn't have a line of sight, you're not actually going to make any progress towards winning the dogfight. That being said, the same applies to your opponents. If you can stay out of their sweet spots while keeping them in yours, then for the most part you'll only have to worry about dodging any tracker missiles while the weapons expert does his thing. This will get more complicated as you deal with multiple enemies. While you may only have one target at a time, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the only threats you have to worry about. Focus on the target is primary, but defensive flying and mindfulness of your surroundings will take you far in this role. Remember to listen to any orders your captain gives, including preparing to line up for an emergency jump, changing targets, or more incoming targets. You should now know how to properly set and use default keyboard flight controls, as well as how to keep in the sweet spot during combat. Congratulations! Outside of combat, it's up to you to make sure the ship is where it needs to be depending on the situation. Did you just warp to a repair station? Pull into the repair bay. Did your captain tell the engineer to charge the warp drive? Align the ship to the waypoint. If there's no sectors, you need to press space to make them show up. If there's no waypoint, you need to remind the captain to set one. Aligning during combat is the same procedure except you continue to dodge while you get the ship aligned. Immediately after combat, align the ship so that you have a line of sight to any scrap. 
Although you can fly through it to pick it up, most likely your scientist will be able to pick it up using the sensor dish a lot easier, but remember there are always exceptions to this. You should now know how to position the ship for repair, warp, and scrap collection. Congratulations! On an away mission, you are the captain's number one. While the weapon specialist goes running off ahead to scout and possibly kill any hostiles, and the scientist wanders off to collect distant research materials, it's up to you to stick near the captain and keep them safe from ambushes. It's always helpful to have a second pair of eyes on any situation, and your observations can help point things out to the captain they may not have noticed. Like any missed items, an incoming ambush from behind, or a trap nearby. So remember to stay just as vigilant off ship as you would be on board. You should now know how to defend the captain during away missions. Congratulations! In the tab menu, under the ship tab, you'll see a category marked miscellaneous and one marked thrust. Keep an eye on the miscellaneous tab after requiring scrap. If you've picked up something that goes in the thrust tab that is better than what you currently have, kindly inform your captain when they're not busy that there's a possible upgrade to thrust in cargo. At trading posts, skim the thrusters they have available and make recommendations to your captain if there are any upgrades. If there are no upgrades to buy, and you still find that your maneuverability is lacking, request to have thrusters upgraded by engineering when they can. Take time to become acquainted with the various thrusters used in the thrust tab. Understand what to upgrade and when they're necessary. Knowing your corresponding system is the difference between an expert pilot and a master pilot, and you should now have a basic understanding of the thrust system tab. Congratulations! The pilot is in charge of combat maneuvering and the right-hand man of the captain, a class that is simple in theory but requires much skill in execution. Navigate those tight combat situations, line that ship up to the target, and don't forget to take time to flirt with every female. Thank you for attending this seminar on the pilot class basics and go forth with confidence into that final frontier. See you, space cowboy!